So you're not really sure how to organize your UVs. Not a problem. Let's say you're working on a character like this and make sure that anything that can be textured is removed. Now, in one of the last videos, somebody asked, how do you know what parts of your character can be textured and what parts cannot? And basically the general rule I follow for this is anything that doesn't stick out a lot can usually just be a texture. For example, originally when I made this character, before I knew how to use Substance Painter, I actually modeled in the leotard that this character wears underneath all of her clothes. But after getting into procedural texturing, my texture guy basically told me, listen, anything that is remotely like a bodysuit or a bikini or a swimsuit or scuba diving gear or any skin tight thing can almost always just be a texture. And he proved that to me when he was texturing the new Unreal 5 custom mannequin for the Jiggle Physics tutorial. The original 3D character had pretty low topology and was completely flat, but with good texturing, she looked like she had a lot of detail wearing a bodysuit. So this time when I'm making the character, I'm deleting the actual 3D leotard because that can just be a texture. Likewise, the ornamental designs on the armor can also just be textured. And technically, the feathers on her arm and on the crest of her hat can be textured as well. For example, if we look at Substance Painter, if we just have a flat quad face with basic texture and transparency techniques, we can make it look like it's a full-fledged ornament, even though it's just a flat face. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna leave these ornaments modeled in. And some of the objects, like the boots and the gloves, are clearly supposed to be mirrored, and then there's other random aspects of your character that are asymmetrical. So how should you go about organizing that? Well, first, just lay out all the UVs for each part of your character the way you normally would. And then once you've got everything flattened out, on the top right under UV, you will see something called Average Island Scale. Hit that, and what this does is make sure that all of your maps are sized in proportion to each other. Assuming you have all the proportions right, make sure everything that's going to be mirrored fits into a nice square on the top and keep it all on one side. Then start organizing everything else to fit underneath it. And that way when you press U and mirror all the elements, we get the whole map covered. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.